So Bandai Namco just finished their most recent beta test for Blue Protocol, and I figured it was the perfect opportunity here to go ahead and go over what the result of that beta test was, along with talking about the new classes that were data mined for the game. Now, I did mention a couple months ago that they were looking at including new classes into the game, that the developers were working on adding new classes, but they weren't going to reveal which classes in specific were being worked on. But there were a variety of different classes that were data mined, which means that any of these are possible or maybe all of them are possible in the grand scheme of things in the long term but before we go into the new data mine classes let's go ahead here and talk about the recent closed beta test so the blog post was actually made on the blueprotocol.com website it was titled matching low test implementation report and it was made on the 18th of November it goes on to read this is the blue protocol management team we would like to thank everyone who participated in the matching low test here and after referred to as this test, which was conducted on Saturday, November 7th, 2020. We're sorry for the inconvenience and inconvenience caused by setting restrictions for the closed beta test version during the short test implementation time, but many people participated. Thank you for your cooperation. We will inform you of the implementation report regarding the implementation results of this test. Regarding disconnection from the server and maintenance, from around 7.23, we confirmed that many people were disconnected from the game server, so we carried out server maintenance and investigated the cause. I know this actually caused a lot of issue with players. They were talking about how they couldn't stream the beta test and how their very limited access was going to waste. We confirmed some possible causes and took corrective action, but there is a possibility that the problem is caused by multiple factors and it is necessary to open the server to confirm the reproducibility. Therefore, we decided to open the server around eight o'clock and start the test with a delay of about an hour. In the subsequent tests and continuous investigations, this server was disconnected because the access was concentrated only on a specific server and there was no response due to a setting problem of the load balancer that has a role of load balancing such as distributing access to multiple servers. We have confirmed that the problem has been resolved by the corrections made during the maintenance. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused by disconnecting from the server, performing maintenance, and changing the test time. Although, do note that for future reference, that means that this is not going to happen. So, I mean, that's the, that's the positive here, right? And, of course, that is what these beta tests are for. So, people run into these issues and that they can be resolved so they don't happen again in the future. About the matching low test. In this test, with the cooperation of everyone, we were able to generate about five times the load of concentration for a specific mission compared to the closed beta test. We have confirmed that the system operates stably without the crash or unstable conditions that occurred in the closed beta test, even when the load is concentrated. In addition, while the average speed until matching was established was about 20 to 60 seconds for the closed beta test, the result was obtained in about 15 seconds and sufficient load and speed verification could be performed. I think it was. Thank you for your cooperation to the test. Based on the results of this test, we will reflect the matching system in the current development version. So again, in this instance, they were able to go ahead and test the, the, the load for the matchmaking five times the load that was present in the closed beta test that had, I think, 110,000 people participate in it, whereas this one in specific only had, I think, like 15,000 players total. And I mean, it was stable. They had no issues. Everything worked out well. So that's also very promising considering the next beta test is no out going to happen next year. About chat test. In closed beta test, we have confirmed that the chat display is displayed immediately, while the chat display delay of about 1 to 60 seconds occurred when the chat was concentrated. In addition, there was a problem that the stamp was displayed in the upper left part of the screen, but this will be fixed in the future. So it sounds like they had trouble with lag, with delay, with the, the messages being delayed anywhere between 1 to 60 seconds when too many players were chatting. So messages could come through 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 seconds after they went ahead and typed them out. That's a little bit concerning, but they did go on to note that they will be fixing this feature in the future. When in the future? I don't know. Hopefully before the next beta test or by the next beta test rather. About matching specification. In the closed beta test version of matching UI and UX, I was in a state of stress such as timeout due to not pressing the rush button and reapplication due to decline after matching was established. This is a common issue when you're queuing. In the current development version, we're reviewing these UI and UX and we plan to make the following changes. After matching is established, everyone will rush into the mission all at once after pressing the rush button, but will rush into the mission in the order in which the rush button is pressed. And the mission will start after a certain period of time. If the number of people decreases due to timeout or retirement, we will implement a function that can additionally recruit the insufficient number of people. So I guess that means currently if four people queue for a dungeon and only three people enter, you're stuck with those three people. But the alterations that are being made are if four people queue for a dungeon and only three people make it in, you can re-queue to get that fourth slot. So kind of like how matchmaking 
already functions in other MMOs. In addition, regarding the contents you have sent and confirmed, the game will end because the connection when the server has been disconnected message is displayed and the game ends. This is a problem that occurs in the closed beta test version from the crash report, blah, blah, blah. Matching was canceled due to a problem message is displayed and matching is not possible. We have blah, blah, blah. So they're just basically uh, regarding the error messages that are appearing. Thank you very much for your participation and warm support during the short implementation time. We'll continue to develop it to meet everyone's expectations. We look forward to your continued support of Blue Protocol, the Blue Protocol management team. Now, I had the opportunity to go ahead and stream the closed beta, the most recent closed beta test concerning the matchmaking, but I was asleep during the time. But honestly, for that two, three hour period, I really didn't think it was worth it considering you only had access to like a dungeon, a couple different dungeons. Now, I think that they're making steady progress with what they're trying to achieve here with their overall goal and their vision of the game. And I like that they're always transparent with us as consumers. This is something that developers, that publishers just don't really take the time to do. However, concerning the new classes, I do want to note that this was data mined and it was data mined a few months ago. It's not a recent announcement, but with their announcement recently that they are working on new classes, this has been brought up repeatedly. Now, the new classes in question, and I am going to read through them here, are the Shadow Avatar, the Sword Slayer, the Artist, the Gunslinger, the Splash? <laughs> The Blaster, the Berserker, the Engineer, the Striker, the Slayer, the Magician, the Rebellion, the Short Ranger, the Long Ranger, the Imagine Trance, the Vanguard, the Sentinel, the Heavy Arm, and the Max. Now, these have been translated. They could ultimately end up being anything. They could alter the names. They could rebrand the, the classes. But that is all of the classes that have been data mined over the course of the last several months. Now, they haven't confirmed what classes in specific are going to launch directly after the game finally launches in 2021. But they did confirm that they are in fact working on multiple, not a singular one, but multiple. So then I guess the question is, considering I have no doubt that the Blue Protocol team watch videos like this. What class do you most want to see out of all the classes I mentioned? And furthermore, if the class that you want wasn't mentioned, what kind of class do you want? If you make your thoughts known right now, then who knows? The Blue Protocol team might see that and implement it in a future version of the game. But this is my opinion, my impressions of the latest bit of information concerning Blue Protocol. What do you guys think? Are you more or less excited after hearing this? Let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.